Hello everybody, welcome back to another legendary location guide here on Borderlands 3. Today I am back and I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the legendary sniper rifle called the Masterwork Crossbow. To do this you're going to need to head to Lectra City on the planet Promethea and find the rare mini boss called Eurist McEnforcer. He will spawn every single time now and he's located down in the underground tunnels part of this area. So once you've found him, you can take him on for a chance to drop the Masterwork Crossbow. He has a couple of different drops, but the main one really is this sniper rifle. So once you've taken him down enough times, you will be able to get this. I think this took me about three or four runs actually, so pretty quickly, uh, which was good. Uh, you can see straight away that this is a uh, projectile that comes out of this sniper rifle that is affected by gravity. It'll arc and loop down. Uh, it's also a one-shot magazine. So let's go ahead and take a look at this weapon right now. So you can see right here, it is a legendary Hyperion Sniper. It has plus weapon damage, plus critical hit damage, plus weapon shield capacity, plus weapon accuracy, plus weapon fire rate, and damage to that front-facing shield on your weapon will return bullets to your magazine. The red text says all crafts dwarf ship is of the highest quality. So that's everything that the weapon tag tells you. Uh, you can see it's a really nice looking sniper rifle actually. Uh, nice shiny silver skin on it with a bit of black trim. So we're going to be taking this to Floodmore Basin to give it a little try out. But first I'll show you uh, just what the projectile coming out of it actually looks like. Because it is a, a little bit different. Uh, so you can see right here on photo mode that you're shooting these big darts out of this weapon. Uh, so it is kind of like a dart gun. Um, which kind of you know reflects in the actual uh, theme of the weapon which is a crossbow so uh, that is just what they look like right there uh, you could also see from the shots that I was doing uh, just how the uh, projectile actually flies it does arc down and uh, like I said it is affected by gravity so to use this weapon you're gonna need to be a bit precise and a bit slower about things uh, and actually time your shots really really well because uh, from long distances this thing will just hit the floor if you shoot straight so you've actually got to uh, shoot above the enemy's head to get it to drop down uh, at short range you can pretty much fire it straight if there's someone right in your face like a psycho or something you should get where you actually shoot uh, from medium range you need to aim just above the, uh, the enemy's heads to actually get them to uh, be affected by this from really long range though you really need to just aim up into the air and hope it's going to go somewhere near maybe look at where you shot and where it landed and then adjust it accordingly so you might waste a bit of ammo getting this thing to actually hit enemies it's also pretty useless against the shielded enemies because it's slow, such a slow fire rate and you have to reload afterwards by the time you've hit them knock them back and knock the shield out of the way the shield's probably straight back in front of them before you've even uh, managed to adjust to that so uh, it can be quite difficult to actually get this thing to land properly the good thing with it is if you can hit a critical hit shot, it's got such high damage to it, it will one-shot most enemies uh, that are non-bosses, uh, non-high armoured, etc. Uh, so just general mobs, if you can get a headshot with this, you are going to wreck them unbelievably. Uh, so yeah, it's all about precision and planning. It's probably not the best weapon ever um, because it's just so specialist. But it is fun to give it a try and uh, actually try and uh, get get these shots to land really but yeah if you can hit it high damage really does well and the critical damage seems to work amazingly uh, a little bit of trivia on this the flavor text uh, which was all crafts dwarf ship is of the highest quality it's actually from uh, the video game dwarf fortress um, which is a popular phrase in the game's community um, so just a little bit on that right there uh, as far as I know, pretty sure this is just non-elemental, there is no elements that come with this weapon and it should always have a fixed magazine size of, of 1. Uh, and yeah, it fires crossbow bolts as you saw from when I was in photo mode. Anyway guys, that was the Masterwork Crossbow, the legendary sniper rifle manufactured by Hyperion and you get it from the rare mini spawn boss Eurismic Enforcer. Thank you guys for watching, really hope you enjoyed, check out the link in the description for the place for the rest of the legendary location guides, and I will see you guys in the next one.